This is a case of 22-year-old type 1 diabetes mellitus who omitted insulin for past one week is brought to casualty in comatose state. His urine ketones are negative. He has acidotic breathing and the blood glucose with glucometer was 350 milligram per deciliter. All other lab investigations are abetted. So this is typically a case study of type 1 diabetes mellitus who has not taken um, insulin for past one week and now he is comatose. Uh, but uh, some like uh, we can see some mixed features of uh, diabetic ketoacidosis like uh, it is it has having acidotic breathing but it might not be decay because urine ketones are negative. And uh, we can see the blood glucose which was monitored is 350 milligram per deciliter. So now I put forward the questions on this case study. What would be the cause of negative ketones in urine? So does the patient, uh, patient does not have DKA, patient has renal failure, patient has HHS or he would be predominantly excreting beta-hydroxybutyrate. So one answer already came from Mr. Nishad. He's saying D. It's okay if you answer incorrect. But you need to explain your answer. So I think only one answer has came. So can you please explain uh, why it is option B? Like I wait for a few more seconds, then I'll explain the case study. So uh, can you tell doctor, okay, three types of ketones, acetone, acetoacetate and beta hydroxybutyrate, out of which third ketone won't get detected in urine. So that's why he has chosen D. Okay. Excreted hydroxy butyrate. Okay. I mean, they are writing the same thing. Okay, we have Dr. Mandi who is writing A. Patient does not have DKA. Okay. So can you write why have we chosen the option A? Patient does not have DKA. Doctor, would you like to tell us why we have chosen option A? Below normal range is also normal. Okay. So, ma'am, you, would you like to tell us more about the A and D options? Because we have two types of answers here. So, okay. what is the right answer? And... Uh, what uh, A and D, we are like choosing both the options. Okay, so D is the right answer. Now and I D come back the right to the answer? case presentation. Now okay. this patient, he is a type 1 diabetes mellitus. As we already know, in type 1 diabetes mellitus, diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA is more common. But what our history goes further is like, he was on insulin for past one week and then uh, he came to casualty in comatose state. But now his urinary ketones are negative. Okay, this is one of the lab finding. Rest other lab investigations, they are saying they are abated. Uh, what symptom he has is acidotic breathing. 
so acidotic breathing as in uh, it is also called as the rapid regular breathing named as kusumol's breathing is a typical feature of diabetic ketoacidosis because acidosis is not seen in hhs then again blood glucose level is 350 mg per deciliter so uh, it is uh, in dk it mostly exceeds 300 in hhs it mostly exceeds 1000 okay then why is urinary ketone are negative so as we all know the three types of ketone bodies very well answered it is called as the acetone acetoacetate and beta hydroxybutyrate so in a uh, in a liver what is happening is this mechanism of ketogenesis that is taking place especially in dka is that when the ketone bodies are formed the first ketone body formed a uh, ketone body formed in our body is acetoacetate so this acetoacetate further it undergoes the dehydroxylation to form beta hydroxybutyrate so this is the second ketone body formed which uh, even breaks down into another ketone body that is acetone that, that is rarely detect, detected or excreted in urine major ketone bodies excreting in urine are acetoacetate and beta hydroxybutyrate so majority of the labs detect uh, acetoacetate by urine dipstick method but this beta hydroxybutyrate which is typically excreted in urine of the patients of diabetic ketoacidosis this might be missed from the lab so it is not necessarily that the urinary ketones are negative so the patient does not have dka as the uh, some mam selected a option so he is having dka because all his other features are mimicking dka but ketone body is negative doesn't mean he is not excreting um ketone bodies in urine he is excreting but the lab is not detecting it because most of the labs detect acetoacetate so even okay. how we will manage this patient even if all the lab investigations are abated as we know first line management of diabetic ketoacidosis is first to give iv fluids to the patient to take care of the fluid and electrolyte loss and then second we need to uh, treat the hyperglycemia and the acidosis part so we need not wait for this patient is already critical and we need to go ahead with the management i hope i'm clear in explaining yes ma'am absolutely uh do you want any more uh, would you like to tell us even about c and uh, b yeah definitely why we, yeah because you know what that will clear all the more it will be clearer to us like we have shown so, the right okay. answer is d if i am not mistaken so as i have already explained a c and d in that because i have uh, told three differentiating features between hhs and dka about the type of diabetes about the uh, exceeding cut off values of the glucose also about the uh, difference of acidosis like it is present in dka but not in hhs so this three differences i have already given so this is definitely not a patient of hhs then no symptoms of renal failure is seen like uh, the patient might be in end stage renal disease but no symptoms of renal failure from the history from the investigations we cannot predict as of now so this is not a case of renal failure uh, i have totally explained the d option and the a option